Well, it was a wild night, Eric. Thank you. And tonight we're hearing from an 80 year old woman in Hanover whose home was split in half by a falling tree. Now, she is okay, but as WBZ's Nick Emmons reports, it was another scare after her recent heart surgery. Yeah, we've seen reports of damage up and down the state, and this is one example here. A massive tree came down on this garage as the 80 year old homeowner was inside. And I heard this big boom like a bomb went off. That explosion, Mary Thorne heard, was her garage being split in half by a massive tree. That's what it was, this huge tree. Mary says she always had concerns about that tree in her front yard, but she couldn't afford to have it removed. I figured that's never coming down. Well, it came down <laughs> with a bang. We've been afraid of this for a while, but today was the day. Leanne Strait is Thorne's niece. She says her 80 year old aunt recently had heart surgery and was home resting when the tree snapped at the base in high winds. If it fell the other way, I don't even want to think about what would have happened. There were close calls across Massachusetts today. In Medford, a driver escaped unharmed after a tree fell onto their car. And in Wilmington, a father was taken to the hospital with an injured leg after a tree crashed into this home. Scenes like this played out all afternoon with the strong winds knocking out power to more than 100,000 people. Unbelievable. For Mary Thorne, she has no plans of leaving her home after this scare. And tonight, she'll be counting her blessings. Hey, I'm alive. My house is fine. And I thank God for that. He was with me. And as far as all this damage, the homeowner's niece tells me that she did not have homeowner's insurance, so they have no idea how they're going to pay for all of this. In Hanover, I'm Nick Emmons, WBZ News.